going to grab some water. Do you mind if I step upstairs? Uh, there's some. Well, if you, yeah, if you need to, but there's some water in that bucket over there, usually. Yeah, I need to step upstairs. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very well. Did you ask Menora about the sanitizer already? Not yet, I'm letting her finish her thing first. About the sanitizer. See if I can pick up that stuff from Clifford. Yeah, if you ask him about sanitizer, I do not have any. Uh, the two that I purchased are going to her. No, um... Bezrin has... Because it takes raw food, right? Yes, correct. Bezrin has a stockpile of raw food. Um, what... Would you charge to make it? Yes, it is open. <sighs> Raw food is, I think, either Shake. made by, uh... You and Sarah, I need you now. Sarah just stepped away. There's something going on. Yeah, she's up there getting water. Uh, <sighs> Looks like I need my armor, though. What is going on? When she comes back, uh, send her towards yeah, us. To the raw you need to, you need to take the raw food. Okay. Yeah. I need to go take care of some man the merchants killed. I'm waiting for a delivery. Uh, is this related to Vez? <laughs> he just came running in demanding me and Sarah. No, I have nothing to do with Vezra. Understood. Whatever you're doing, let me know when you're done. Understood. Don't get yourself killed, friend. No. <sighs> I'm sure you'll explain when you come back. I can hope so. It's never a good sign when he needs me and Sarah for something. Just don't let his... Foolishness get you hurt. You understand me? My goal is to come back to you. Very well. I'll come find you. Uh, Orange. So. <laughs> I had made it, so I'm not. What has got you on such a hurry? I don't know. Have you seen Vezrin? No, he was looking for all of you. Do you have a mask? Yeah. What do you need me for? Um, I'm sorry. Um, well, let's talk upstairs. It's never a good sign. <sighs> Volga Seveno. He's delivering today, within in the next 20 minutes. Um, a delivery to the embassy. Either him or his driver. We need to capture them before they get to the embassy, because they will be untouchable after that. Who's what? What? Oh, slow down. They're coming right. from the North Road. Who's delivering what? Polgar Seminar. I don't know who He's that is. He's delivering supplies to the embassy. It's the merchant, the one that's been uh, skimming off the top. It's, um, the Capitano's man in the Merchant's Guild. It's, it's uh, an alias. This is a chance to find out who it is or where he is. <clears throat> What's that? You owe me for this. 
Understood. Big time. This is my flash powder. Sure. Only one I have. I can... I can give you the, all the materials to replace it immediately. As soon as I get back. If I use it. Elle does I not have any behind the out. desk. That's alright. Yeah, she doesn't have any behind the desk anyways. Okay. That's it. We only have that one chance. That's it. You two. Uh, don't say anything about this at all, please. Lips are sealed. Sure. There's. Mm, sure. I don't know anything. Should we get to Zim for this? I don't think this time. He was in the house when I went to get my armor. We need at least. He said he had business Let's to check. do with the merchant guild. We'll be back. All right. Good luck. You need to slow your roll, Vez. I know, you're right. But we only have 20 minutes to get north of the embassy. Where's Sarah again? She stepped away to get a drink. Right. They make you think you're off the hook and then you increase the price again. It was here when I, went, when I went to get my armor. Right. He and I have been spearheading this whole Capitano thing. He'd probably want to be involved. Right then, get him. <laughs> Tazim. I'm gonna grab something. It is quiet in the house. Fuck, he's probably already gone. <sighs> Too busy right now. Doesn't sound like he's in. Not here. <clears throat> okay. Let's get moving. Explain to me what is what this is. It's a cargo cart. It might be guarded. It's coming from the North Road. It's going to deliver goods to the embassy. If it gets to the embassy, we are out of time. We, we fail. Why? We need to stop it and intercept it beforehand. Because a driver... The driver will know who Fulgas 7R is. If it's not him himself. I don't know who that is. Why is this important? I got all of the ledgers from... Uh, Fucking Bergamasco. Uh, I got them re-delivered to me by the Major before he died. All of the ledgers, merchants have been cancelling en masse their, their orders, and it's all been going through Fulgas 7R. And he's also been dealing with the Embassy. Someone, a contact, trusted to the Major, handed me a ripped-out part of a ledger, showing uh, all of the exact same stuff. So it's just a, a business ledger of a bunch of goods being delivered by Fall Gas 7R to the embassy. Um, jacked up prices clearly meant to, uh, you know, take advantage of the fact that no one else was dealing with would deal with them. So, Fall Gas 7R is your man that you're looking for. The merchant's contact. The one who has been, who the Capitano has been supplying information to, to ruin the markets so that he can buy in bulk. And do we want to capture him? We want to capture this driver so that we can get more intel. And then what? <sighs> you and know kill the time him is ticking, on the intel. We're waiting on uh, Paul Connor. She stepped away. I keep checking. She's still in the wall doing nothing. I'll go look again. Okay. But I gotta get the day moving. <sighs> is this something we can handle? Just the two of us? We might have to. I have some flash powder, one unit. I've got um, my bow. I can shoot the horse. Oh my god. That's... We can try and jump the car. We capture this dude and what? Interrogate him? Come on, let's get moving. But, yes. We might get Tang. That might be a good idea. Tang? Uh, we're trying to be discreet. We're trying to be discreet, are we not? Who else do you think is good for this? I don't yes, know. Yes, I suppose. Aegon's always off. It's offered. the daytime, so he's not glowing. Yeah. Fuck it, let's get him. Yeah, if we see him. 
I see him. <clears throat> you want to make a silver? Always. And you're with us. Let's go check and see if she's back. I suppose I should ask questions, but I'm always on a question basis. I don't even fucking know what's happening. Whatever. Can't be anything crazy I can't handle. Where did he go? You'll be inside. And now. Wait out here. Oh. You'll be out in a second, I'm sure. All right. If you say so. And you're sure they don't need my help for anything? All showed up? Okay. I, no, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he asked me for help, so it must be something serious. Yes, if, I, if anyone brings me along, it's for definite reason. Alright, she might meet us down the road. Alright, let's go. I'd love to take you, but you're too conspicuous. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I follow you. Yeah, be safe, okay? You have a potion, Maybe right? I'll... No. I have one. I have potions, Here, I have you'll be fine. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Do have bandages. The advanced healing. Right, we have to get a move on. We'll walk out of town and then it's a full sprint. <clears throat> Very well. If you can hide your identity, do so, I guess. Right. <laughs> if I took off my helmet and hood, I'd be hiding my identity. We'll just make sure not to um, leave any survivors. Holy fuck, Bezrin. Interesting. Have a choice. This feels. Bastards, anyway. <sighs> this feels like floundering. I'll be honest. Floundering? No, it's. Wait, the net. Ah, oh, net. God. Right. I'll get out of earshot so you can keep your talking thing. There you go. Yes, that's... That one is very skittish that he's talking to. Yeah, you see him, he looks like he shit himself today already. <laughs> he looks more jittery than someone had on Serenity. Oh, the withdrawal of such. <sighs> Do you have any idea what he's asking us to do? I heard no survivors. We're attacking a caravan and getting a person of interest out. By the looks of things. Hmm. No witnesses. I see. <clears throat> I feel like this plan is half-baked, I'll be honest. <clears throat> You're ready to disengage. I work well with half-baked. We'll be fine, not to worry. Alright, I got a big fuck off net, it's weighted. That's it. Can help. So, what's the plan once we get a hold of him? We've got a few, well, interrogate him. About, Obviously. well, what's the goal? What are we trying to oh. get from him? We need to find out where or who Forgast Sevenar is. That's your man, the one that's working with the Capitano. <clears throat> this is very Sorry, high I profile. I was brought along for this. We might be expecting armed guards, not sure. 
Doesn't matter. If you want information out of him, I can get just that. Hmm. And right, bastards. They've been starving the market so that they can make the coin and shove other merchants out. I, see. I feel no sympathy for this. What happens when this cart doesn't well, arrive where it needs to, to be? We'll get the answers you want. What happens when the cart doesn't arrive where it needs to be? Well, the embassy doesn't currently have a CO. And if there's no traces left behind of who was there, then it doesn't come back to us. The It'll be on high alert. The doesn't have a commanding officer? Since when? Since yesterday. The Major is dead. What? Why is the Major dead? You know what? Never His mind. I don't want to know. Assassinated. I'm sure. You didn't hear that from me, though. Okay, we have to really yeah. sprint. Yeah, I'm waiting. We're going on. to make it in time. Right. Hanging on you guys. <laughs> By your judgment, Vezrin, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Maybe. Where are we meeting them? We're going to intercept them. North of the road, we need to find a good ambush spot that's quiet. I know one. There's a recent rockfall. Forces the uh, carts to go slowly and avoid the rocks. We can jump out there. It's a little way ah, up, though. I think, one you're I think it's about. past the cross keys. Which, if we can get them before they go past the cross keys, that'd be handy. Since no one would see them go past. Yes, yes, I agree. <clears throat> Your party. Yeah, she made it. Good, good. There's a cart. Really something, something no survivors interrogate the fool. There's a cart up ahead with someone of importance. Stay out of sight of the embassy. We should go up this way. Please. Gonna kill the guards, take the person of importance, and interrogate him. A little unnecessary for five. Take the person, okay. Not interrogate him. We're seen going this way, and they don't retrieve it. We'll be suspect. The person we need is the driver. I'm not known. I would just gear on, not to the embassy. I am. Oh, I see then. So, this way. was this caravan going straight to the embassy then? Is it expected there? It's going straight to the embassy, and if it's received, we fail. Probably should have rented a horse just in case, but... Well, I'll tell you one thing. If we need to, I'll prevent the caravan from being able to move. That's Good. if we don't need that kind of solution. I'd rather not have to kill a horse today. We probably will have to. Uh, I want to cut across to the left side of the road to stay out of sight of that. Maybe closer is better, actually. I don't. I don't know. They usually have guards posted at the very end of that road. Then let's cut back across. Oh shit, is that a That's a cross. Thought I saw it for a minute. <clears throat> yes, we need to get to the fall and take the cross keys. That's good. It's fine. We're just travelers going to cross keys. Right. So right, it's not this business what's going on. We need to find a longer way around. If we can cut through the I don't know if there's a way to cut through the lumber camp through the forest, but on the way back, that might be what we need to do. Alright, what about guards outside the cross keys? Just pass them. Right. Hmm. We'll walk past. Ask a lot of questions. And they see a lot of mercenary traffic, so I won't be surprised if they do not question it. Yeah, I mean they're on the main road, coming in and out of Nortus. All right. So you said it was north of Cross Keys. Where's this ambush point? Further up ahead. Do 
no. Unless the robber baron is lying, he also hates what the Capitano is doing. We're getting close to his domain. He's already lied to you before. That's true. It was always... So far it's been half lies, almost half truths. So. <clears throat> Half lies are worse than better than, f well, are worse than full ones. I suppose so. Means they know what they're doing. Mm. Alright, here. You tend to watch this spot, though. This is their usual abduction area. This rock slide will force the cards to move slowly through here. We can use them as cover as well. Perfect. Aegon, you're a big man. Actually, well, you and Serevith. Serevith, you're good at throwing things, yes? I brought a large weighted thing. Oh. The man on the hill. What do you mean there's a man on the hill? There's a man oh, on the fucking hill. I think it's one of the Robber Baron's men. As if concerned. All right. I can go talk to him. They know me. But <laughs> this is, might not be a good staging point. We might want to keep going. We're gonna eat, we're cutting it close. Man, you kill him. Go quickly. Fuck. I'm going to go up further. Well, I was gonna hide in these bushes here and get behind the card if possible. Hmm. Actually, I probably should be up here. Mm -hmm. If they try to move that card past you, I will cut the horse. them right now to help or we keep moving this is your fucking mission that's another witness though yeah, but we are cutting it close how's it going they are we've got some um right we should keep moving then Running out of time, Vez. I think I see another spot. Shereek, rolling. <clears throat> Fuck. Here it comes. As you get low and keep your eyes open, the cart starts barreling around the corner. You see a net thrown over the driver and the person there. You very quickly look at the card itself, and on the side you see the symbolism of the Carter's Guild. Trying to get under rolling. The oh gosh, rolling. With a two as you go up to stab towards the plate, Vezrin, it skids right off the breastplate and then gets smacked over into the driver. You realize the instantly you know who these people work for. <laughs> All right, time to pull them off. This is the Carter's Guild. Hold on. Are these even the right fucking people? Look at the markings. That's a strength. <laughs> With a seven, as you try to grab him, he throws your grip off and he stays in his seat. He's terrified. Oh, fuck do you mean it's the wrong card? Look at the fucking markings on the side. It's Carter's Guild. Is this what you want? Okay. The man looks afraid and unready to fight. 
But you do see that it is indeed the Carter's Guild, Sharik. But this is the timetable, as you said, Vezrin. We want to ask they look questions. bewildered. Just put the weapon away. At first. Absolutely not. You attacked us. Easy does it. We did. Easy does it. We don't want you to get violent. Put it down. Sorry, Just ask some questions and we'll be on our Take way. This one. You stay oh, back, I'll, I'll answer your questions. No other cards coming by the looks of it. <clears throat> Sharik, come here. Did you say another card's coming? Doesn't look like another card is coming. Swan. What's your name? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. I, no. I, 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 I would do as he says. Rodrigo, why? Just stay here, Rodrigo. Okay, you've got the sword. Correct. No problem. Choose your weapon, and no one needs to get hurt. The man looks I afraid, just cut off your hand. but he stands his ground. He hasn't been aggressive, but it doesn't look like he'll put his weapon down. Tell him if he doesn't put his weapon down, I'm going to kill this person. He has three seconds. Please, no, please don't do that. Three. Convince your friend. I report you to the guard. You won't be alive to report anything. Then you won't get any answers. I'll bring it right back to the guards of guild. It's stable right now, Shriek. Ask your questions. <laughs> You're running this? What I the fuck do you name. want? <laughs> well, ask... I, I, Where are you going? I, listen, this, I'm just a driver, man. Where are I you just, going? I just deliver things, that's it. I, I'm going... Bringing it to the embassy. What? what? <laughs> Alright, come with me. Neil. It's a nice view, isn't okay. it? Okay, take it easy. That's uh, fine. It's yeah. fine. You want to be your last. Listen, I, I I don't know what you're looking for exactly, but I I don't know much, man. I told you I just tried. Do you have dealings with the Capitano by any don't... chance? What? What are you You're talking about? Interview. I'm employed by the Carter's Guild. It's okay. All right. What are you no, delivering to the embassy? No, why the fuck would I deal with the cup? I... Food, basically. I think mostly food. Uh, horse traps, uh, light equipment, just it, 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 odds and ends. That's it. Yeah, good. Do I remember the fucking name that Vezran dropped before this whole thing started? <laughs> Something, something, yes, something. Yes, Fulgast Sevenar. Do you know a person by the name of Fulgast Sevenar? Trick question. Uh, I already know the answer. Yes. Be truthful. Who is it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, okay, he's the one that ordered the cart. Uh, he contracted it. Why? Who does he work for? I don't fucking... I don't, fuck, I don't fucking know, man. He just contracts what people like me. Like? Uh, uh, I uh, look, look. Li let me explain how this works, okay? I work for the Carters, right? I don't interact with the clients. That I go to the Carters Guild, they give me a job, and I fulfill the job. I'm not the fucking merchant, man. I don't know what you want from me. You don't know what he looks don't talk like. Go to the fucking merchant guild. You don't know anything of okay, him. Okay, okay, give me something okay, useful. Okay, okay, give me a okay. reason. Okay. That okay, I don't okay, fucking okay, paint okay, this. Okay. I know, I know, that he's waiting for the payment. He's waiting for the payment, okay? Should be at the Merchant's Guild, top floor. Top floor, that's all I know. That's all I know. That's all you know. Yes! That's all I know. Nothing else, you know, anything else? I'm, I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little bloodthirsty today. I, 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 I can With a 12... He seems like he's telling the truth. And you would know if he is, he's working for Hala. 
Mm. Look, I, I don't know what what else you want me to tell you, but I I Come on. really know nothing else. So. <laughs> you said Merchant what? Guild top floor. Yeah, Merchant Guild top floor. <laughs> Damn, I looked in the cart. Um, is anything out of order? Is there any like hidden compartments? You see, nope. You just see food, light equipment for repairing weapons, <laughs> whetstones, see some straps for bridles, saddles, odds and ends. I know where he is. He's in the merchant's guild. Did you get a description? Good. They don't see him. They've never seen him before. He's waiting for a payment though. These people work for the Carter's Guild. Hey. Hey, he's, 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 he's an older man. I know that for a fact. You know? You should be able to see him. An older man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Drang here, uh, maybe? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, he's older. I know he's older. Uh, I know for sure. You got what you needed. Let him live. I did. No. Uh, they do not get to live. That was the terms. Fuck As the what? sound of that, the man prepares his weapon and gets into a fighting stance. You can tell that he is well trained and willing to take you on. Okay, look. I don't know you, don't know your faces. Oh, Listen. You realize this is getting out of control fast. Stop him. He is under our fucking contract. Aegon! Well, let's say Aegon. <laughs> Stupid you with ease Stop! Glancing towards the woman to his left. Stay he there if you want your man to live. Uh, Fuck. Do you, do you, do you, do this is going off the rails the and fast, and you know if they work for the Carter's Guild. <sighs> that is murder. Hey. What do we do? That's not the contract. Leave it. You were very clear when we left. Things changed. We didn't know who they worked for. But they've seen us. And they always under the pressure we wouldn't be leaving them alive. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Did you see anything? No, this is just how was your how was your ride to the embassy? I didn't see you, didn't see them. Uneventful, like always. You know I'm sticking my neck out for you here. Only because you work for the Carter's Guild. Aegon, knock it off. That's it. Five silvers. Sheath your sword. For your trouble. That's right. Yeah. If you decide to change your mind, I will find you. Five silver. What's your name? We're in the wrong here. Damien. There was a misunderstanding. I do apologize. I, uh... Is my friend okay over there? I'm not gonna go see him beat up or anything, right? No, he's fine. No. Then yeah, nothing happened. It was a quiet ride. Good. I know your name and I know who you work for. Don't let me come find you. I heard yours as well. What he said. Yeah. Seems to have vested interest that no one talks about this. Guess we're on even terms then. Off you pop. Please don't kill me. All right. Okay. Okay. Be on your way. You Try not to slow down now. at the ridge. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Sure. Totally. <laughs> Did you grab your net? Right. Okay. Okay. So what happens when you go in with a half-cooked fucking plan? We didn't have fucking time, all right. Too much faith in them. Kyler, in the very least, you would know that what your rapport with Hala, alongside Arn, even if he did say something, it would be okay. Exactly it's best to defuse the party. The card is good. Listen. Zim and I have worked really hard to build up a rapport with Hela, leader of the Carter's Guild. 
Even if he does go blabbing to her. She's my fucking boss. Even if he does go. She has been for the last six fucking months. Blabbing to her, it should be okay. It was best that we didn't murder those fucking people. No, I need to go fix this, right now. That's right. what I'm gonna go do. I'm going to go find her before they do, if they do, because. You read my mind, actually. What the fuck? And go. Just go. Did your lead take us straight to them? person you're looking for is at uh, top floor of the Merchant's Guild. They're looking for payment. Older man, by the looks of it. He's gonna run understand. off. What, why exactly did we get brought all the way to these people? And why are you under the assumption no survivors? Because I had a very time-sensitive thing I was told that I should go and take care of. So I did. Didn't exactly have time to come up with something. Fuck's sake, she's gonna blow it. Dead men tell no tales, but now they have plenty to say. This is fun. from behind I'm assuming he's trying to get your attention before you go too far <sighs> hold on slow your roll what <sighs> all right we're stopping into the embassy don't have to sprint the whole way <sighs> thank goodness <clears throat> The look on their faces. Have your relationship with the Carter's Guild is worth it. The looks on their faces tells me that they are not going to say a thing. Yeah, and if they do, you it's fine. Like I said, it. best thing is we don't bring it to her right off the bat, because right. then we definitely know that she knows about it, and that implicates you guys as well. Right now, my name's the other one on the line. I'll handle it if it comes up. Right. I'm lucky Good. I was wearing my mask. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you were. 
If it pops up. Voices can be heard over the ridge line to the right, talking back and forth. As you walk by in the divots, you can see that the cart's being searched. They're looking under it, over it, making sure nothing is in the box that should be. What is the Carter's Guild relationship with the in Imperials exactly? <laughs> God is good or related they to everyone. Have a relationship specifically. They they just sort of transport people. They don't specifically deal with the the goods themselves. Just move it around. Mm. So we know well. this is what we know. Folgat Seven Eyes on the top floor currently awaiting payment. We can act on this information. <clears throat> How? We'll be there for some time probably. What do you want to do with it? That's what we have to figure out. Why. You're even interested in someone like this. He's the linchpin to this entire operation of what the Capicano's up to. Hmm, I see. If something would have happened to him if he were to disappear, a Capitano loses his income. Hmm. Well, that would have make a man angry. Are you sure we're ready to face the consequences or the people of North That's exactly my point. Thing. There's a lot of things that need to happen at the same time here. All right. All we re okay. All we need at this point is an identity. If we can identify this person on site, then we can act later if we need to kill him or kidnap him or whatever. Right? Right. We don't need to run in so their guns, send please. Send someone to give him payment. Um. Well, we don't know how much or what for. That's kind of stupid. We just need to see him. That's all. Oh, fuck. Then I can find a way on the top floor. I'm a member now. Maybe yeah. I can get a tour. Just fucking walk in and see if That's you can identify idea. this person. We don't need to act on him right now. We just need to know who he is. And if we need to kill him or kidnap him or right. bribe him or do anything else later, we know who it is now. Right? Mm. Right. Older man on the top floor. All right. Getting paid. Sounds reasonable. That's what I'll do then. Yeah. I'll head straight to the just merchant's guild and I will try and get a tour. As long as we don't spook him. That's I'll all. I'll avoid... The Carter's Guild owner, seeing as I don't see an issue anymore. Good. If she does, she'll probably bring it up with me since my name was the one that was dropped. Coin sears lips as well as death, but we've done neither. Exactly. All just faith on them. That's why it was important that we didn't kill this people. If we did, then it would look a lot worse for us. That if we were tied to it, that's the whole point. Mm. Both are a gamble. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have said anyone's names. If you were smart, you would have left this place a long time ago when you found Torty. It's got a point. Find something good to latch onto, you take it with you. Leave everything behind. Grow old together and have disgusting Xeno children. Yes, all purple and spotty like Dalmatians would be great. I find it difficult to leave all of the other people that I care about. Hmm. So I'm sorry for that. No, I've got no say in that. Stepping away for a moment, the ghosts, the cats in my head, have created quite a mess that we need to clean up mm. now. Oh, we're not at the Merchant's Guild or at the bottom floor. If you need me, you just holler and I'll come. Mm. Otherwise, I will not engage. The Merchant's Guild Probably knows best who I am. There. I, uh, I won't be there when they go to see you. I'm off to That's find Tazim. He said he wanted me for something. If I'm in trouble in the Merchant's Guild, there's no helping me. How so? Keep your head down. Well, uh, they have guards and mercenaries and all sorts. You, they're not going to fight me out of it. Besides, yeah, I have my own devices. You say so. Best of luck.
It's like working with fucking amateurs. Now we've been cut to shreds in Korokatus. There's a uh, certain things going on that I am not fully aware of things, but um, it's been confirmed by the Imperials themselves that it was an assassination. So you'll probably hear rumors about it being some troll killed him or something else. I don't believe it. I don't know. Let him eat his pop tart. He needs to enjoy some food real quick before he answers you. What do you want, Phil? So nothing like a little, uh... hmm? I was going to see if you were willing to go out on that little walk. The Zim's going to be back in a second. He's going to need something. Because I also intend to eat before we go. Hmm. And I have a message to relay to you. Our contacts in the woods wish to meet with you at the logging camp in the evening. I'll add it to my list. Just me? Yes. Understood. If you can't make it, let me know. I'll see if I can't get Sarah or myself. No, I'll meet if them. If no one else can. Okay. Your game is Basil. You would see a huge bruise on her stomach and her knee wrapped up. The fuck happened to you? <sighs> Three guesses. First two don't count. God. Fucking hell. They shook down Lager as well. You would see if you looked at it more <clears throat> closely. You would see uh, chainmail marks in the bruise. You've been seen to. Soma took me home last night when it happened. Um, eating will have to wait because no one's at the tavern and there is no one at the bakery, so. 
the um you want hard tech? The knee was this morning. Uh, they bumped into me and chain reaction. Do you need a hand with anything? No. <clears throat> no. Sometimes it hurts to put too much pressure on it, but I'll be okay. My clients have been very kind to me in allowing me to sit, apparently, even though not many like damaged goods. Some find it fun. What about uh, the other one? Lily um, got thrown into the ocean no. last night. Um, she's okay. I think. A little shaken up, I think. Right. I didn't even know if. Um, they've also been acting very buddy buddy with certain people, and it's very weird. Who? The guards. The guards themselves, the brothers, they've smiled at me today. I need both of you, you and you, because I need to order some things. You do the shields, right? I, I can do a shield. I need an iron kite shield. If I need anything, though, I will let you know. Very kind of you, Shetty. <coughs> Small party, I guess. For tier. And I hope you're ready to list a bunch of stuff down. Yes. Hmm. I guess I'll get one. Right, that'd be a heavy down. shield. Which means I need a heavy shield material. A small iron mask which I can get, and lacquer I'll have to get from the. Alright, uh, give me just a moment. Is there a timetable for this? Doing, Shariq? Just whenever. Busy day. One second. Uh, just whenever you can get it done. Have a good day. Okay, that's that sorted. I've got that noted down. Okay, how much would be? For the large shield. What, would you rather take a look at my drive? Four silver in total. That's just material and cost, essentially. That's one less. There you go. One less. I'll hand you four uh, silver. Are they no? Okay. That's no idea. And let me one moment will I mark it down so that I have a key. <laughs> Don't want to end up accidentally charging someone twice. I do it all the time. <clears throat> oh, you owe me money, by the way. Well, we're talking business then. How much is it for a two-handed steel shield, uh, shield sword? Two-handed steel like sword? Fucking hell. Yes. That would be 15 silver. And I don't know if we have the iron for it. You may not, but I may be supplying it. That's why I'm saying how much it would cost silver-wise. 15 silver. I'll discuss it with... <clears throat> I'll discuss it with Dizim. I might supply the steel myself, so... Understood. Okay. Hope you're ready, Shriek. <clears throat> I'm going to get a drink all this or something. Ready to make the list? What do you need? Alright. I need maid. <clears throat> One glaive, two spear, some kind of 
I'll send you the picture of it, but they said it's a great axe, but it doesn't look like a great axe. It looks like something a, a high elf would wield. It's some kind of long axe. Like, That's like hers, but the blade is... Yeah, uh, let me send you the picture of it real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's like a pole axe. Okay. Yeah, pole axe. So it's not a great axe. Uh, pole axe, two... Yeah, well, they called it a great axe. Let me send you the picture of it, Kyler. I mean, just freak, and then you can tell me what it is. And get in, out of character, try and see if Bungie will approve it or not, or if he switches out for some. Either way, it's going to be that type of a weapon. Mm -hmm. <sighs> get, it, get it to you. Sorry about <clears throat> this. Um, I don't think that cost changes that much. Yeah, no worries. I knew I was going to eventually spin this. I apologize. That's the image that was sent to me. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, no Polex. Okay. Just make sure you run that by him, make sure it, it's approvable, whatever, but that's what I'll be buying. Uh -huh. um, for a wood elf to use, just so we were clear. Alright, so we said two spear, great axe, glaive, and... Morden, how much did it cost for you to make Tyr's shield, the round shield? Find out how much the total I need to give you. Mm -hmm. And it was a wooden one, I believe, with a metal reinforcement on it. It was a total iron. It, it looked medium like. shield, one small iron mask, a lacquer, medium shield materials. If you're going by just material cost, it would have been 260. If it's going for actual expected sale price, it's three silver plus, dependent on okay. specifics. Well, it's like his where it was rounded and had that little hook in it where they can use for spear. <clears throat> so I don't know how much that would cost. Uh, Anything are you else? A second one of that. Uh, hmm. Um. Well, let me ask. Maybe you could answer this, Shriek. One of them are just learning how to use a melee weapon. What would be good for a first-time learner as a small weapon? A dagger or a one-handed short sword. I'd say mace. Mm, this one doesn't look to be that strong. That would take someone with a lot of arm strength. Spear is never a bad choice. Yeah, tends to be the easiest thing oh, spear is definitely Wait, the easiest. Wait, that's what that's what we no no that's what we did. Um, you're right. That's what we that's why I ordered ordering two spears because one's for them. Okay, yeah. So we're good. Yep, two spears. Yep, two spears, the glaive, and the great axe. Polex for us for weapons. And the these are all iron, I am assuming. Yes, that is correct. Fucking a. Let me do some maths here. Okay, let you do your mass. Uh, I need at least two of those round shields. Two round shields. So would it be six, you said three silver a piece. Would it be six silver or a little bit more than that, just in case? For you, last, it's only going to be two silver each. Oh my goodness, okay. Right, she'll hand you two more silver. I make a point of not sh overcharging my friends, including Miss Sophia. Well, I'm about to. Well, well, I know. That's fine. <laughs> Just know that this will go to people out in the woods, so if you're out, ever out in the woods, you might have some people that be able to come to your aid if they're <clears throat> equipped enough. All right. You ready for this? Uh, are you going to? And do it by autumn or just give me a total price? I'll give you a total. Yeah, that'll work. Let me write this let me write this down on my ledger. Go ahead. It'll be thirty one silver. 
by reinforcing him in what? Putting on silver. Like adding metal to it. And give me one second, let me write down his two silver. I would have to ask a DM if an upgrade is possible. And that may yeah, take some time. Uh, kill it. Possible. Or I literally just about here. <laughs> A shield from essentially is adding metal to a shield, so I would imagine okay. be taking a light shield to quite literally. Shield. She reaches out of her deal and hands you a bag of silver. What the fuck? There's your 31 uh, silver. Up. One second. It is, is everyone here okay. a metal worker? What do you need? Armor or weapons? As a medium shield. I could do that. And Let me just finish with this iron. transaction you first. Realize that there is iron already in it, right? You're wanting to. I'm good, man. <sighs> Fucking what day of the month are we? Tw Twenty th or thirty third or thirty second? As you take a look at this shield and I started with thirty two silver this morning. Extremely solid. Uh, okay, that'll be done on the thirty sixth of the month, if you catch my meaning. Oh, no, go on, man. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, and you wanted a dagger, fine, sir. Morden, you can see that it is indeed a medium shield. How much? Uh, for a, I'm assuming iron. And judging by the look of it, it is of dwarven Oh. You think that uh, that would yes, be iron. five <laughs> silver, <laughs> twenty <laughs> copper. A large shield, or a tower <coughs> shield. That I can do. <laughs> okay. Can you make it a stiletto? Yeah, that's easy. Um, and I need a name real quick. Although you can make it look different. I could mm -hmm. just I need a name. Looks, oh. but if you're wanting a heavier shield, you probably need to get it's, yourself uh, a new one. Fiore. <laughs> How do you spell that? Alright. How much do you charge for F I O R For the heavy shields. Understood. Uh, I'm charging you for the silver. That's it. And you're paying up front. You don't have any ready already. No, we make them on demand. I'll just make a note of it so that I have it here. Thank you. It can be done by tomorrow, though. Thank you. I would have liked it by tonight. Sif, do you have a rag on you? I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you. Why would I have a rag on me? I have a bandage. Do you need bandaging? No, I need a rag because okay. somebody's I'll coming. I'll take a note of it. Dust. Nope. Alright. Oh. Thank you, Longbeard. <sighs> I hope that will help you out. Oh, no rags. It definitely will. Thank you. I got to work on it. You would happen to have started on the armor? And trust me, it will help you all in the future if you're well, in the need help. As of yet, not I yet, understand. because I've already got three armor sets I've been working on. Plus Sip, as you look at Tang, you and see a small deal. bee plop out of him and crawl away. What? Nothing. You might just be a walking honey generator soon. Maybe turned into a hive. No. Be I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I don't like it. So we can see if we can see. If you try to figure out what they're talking about, you look down, uh. you see a small bee crawling away. Oh, it doesn't look like. <sighs> You don't think it can? You don't think it can? Peter, no. Understand your words. Peter, don't. But it does don't do. eat the bee. Do not eat the bee. Rolling. This will not end good for you. Peter, Peter, and eleven. Do with it what you will. <laughs> Peter, no. There you go. Hey there. <laughs> In one fell swoop, Hello. 
Vita on Vita opened his jaw almost for a moment. Did you have any need of me? No, I was just um adding things to my sheet. Maths. Hey, I have an unusual request of you. It was just leaving. What did you eat the donkey? Part of my <laughs> current poking and prodding leads me wanting to learn more about Why did um, you Sarah. Me? I'd like for you to arrange for a way for me to talk with her. I know nothing about her. Are we supposed to go like on an adventure? Or you wanna just talk to her? Oh, I did already. Sorry. I want to get a good sense of their character. I need to know if they have the best intentions for us. You're okay. That's fine. Where are you going? Okay. Um, when I see her, I'll let her know that you wanna talk to her. And you can come along too if you want. If that's more comfortable, I don't. I don't mind. Yeah, there's an old war field. I'll see what I'm up to at the time. Way and measure. Yeah. The battle's okay. long since done. Because at the moment... Okay. You going, sir? I'm only fearful because I don't know enough about... That was very insightful. In all that. I can... I'm trying. I'll bring it up with her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They're going to need a new window and a new door. I was patrolling. I didn't realize I'd gone that far. All right, show me the west. Door. Okay. Great. Oh, I think I'm just going to get this started now while I've got the chance. So if you're wanting to come, you're welcome to. If you can't, then... I gotta wait for Tazim. Good luck, though. Which one? Because there's different sides. Sif, when you said evening, did you mean evening, evening, or like, pre-sunset? I assume pre-sunset. Like, as the sun sets. Yeah, okay. Uh, evening, not nighttime. Yeah, uh, Logos Camp, you said, right? The main road. Yes, he got... Main road. yes. Right. I'll meet you there. I can't cool. The other one was, but the other were two glimmer roots. <sighs> you have a potion? Okay. I do. So if you're curious, don't go over oh, to the bar. Okay. Sawmill. Oh. You probably won't need it, but just in case. Right. Uh, if you want, I can... Right now. Help hmm? You want it all. <sighs> Thanks. Oh. <sighs> so, the fucking door wouldn't even... About that other thing. It's very tempting to want to go with Dotty. Knock, knock. Disappear. Is a private conversation? I'll wait downstairs. No, it's fine. You sure? Seems pretty heavy up here. If you want to walk away at any moment, you're free to. All right. <sighs> I... Tempting as it is to want to leave, take Torty, get on the caravan, and go study whatever it is that pleases me. I could not bear the thought of leaving you all behind. I... <coughs> who, who is you all, Merendel? You, Sharik, all the other people in this town that I care about. Marco, Ladia, Morden, Benora. All of them. I. I know things have been hard. And that's putting it lightly. 
I know. That we probably all won't come out of this unscathed. But I also know that I would do anything for all of you. But not yourself. And That hurts. <clears throat> the truth usually does. Have you already forgotten two years ago? You are unwilling to do anything for yourself, is what I meant. Not that you do everything for yourself. You've gone from two extremes. One where you've looked at everything for yourself and your own gain of knowledge, and then your shift so you'll do anything for anyone but yourself. You can't take, take care of anyone, Mirandell, if you're not taking care of yourself. And being here and throwing yourself into the situation that, as I said before, will only be a fraction, <clears throat> a fraction of your life. How is that worth dying over? Because I have a lot longer to live with the guilt, if I did nothing. I hope most of the people that you say you all feel the same way. I know that some of them, probably most of them, still hold resentment for me. Then why die for it? You said anything about dying? I'd like to live for it. I'd like to live long enough and help take part in something good. And to I don't know, maybe one day get to witness what it's like to see a place ruled by a good man. Because I've yet to see it done. And I think nothing would bring me greater joy. In a day, the choice is yours, no one else's. If that's what you feel, so be it, brethren. You don't seem very, uh... Glad. I would have been happy if you decided to depart. Why? I've explained this all yesterday. It feels like a waste in the grand scheme of things. A waste? We're going in circles, that's the law. You disagree with me, I disagree with you, but in the end it doesn't matter. I feel your life is your own. And you can spend it to its fruition however you wish. I just felt that perhaps choosing your family over the mission <clears throat> would have been more prevalent. You all are my family. I won't bring it up again, and I will accept your decision. Not that it matters if I do. Why? 
All right. With one contingency, or one exception, stipulation, rather. No threatening Tori anymore, please. She's not a loose end. I haven't spoken to them at all, whatsoever. Nor have I ever threatened them. The last we you spoke was me. when I was talking to Gerbrum. And I told her I haven't decided if she's a loose end or not. <laughs> That's a threat, Han. How is that a threat? I brought it directly to you because I knew you would handle it. <sighs> Just consider it handled. As I have said for the past two and a half years, if that is the case, then I trust your judgment. There's one last thing. If anything were to happen to me, either now or in the near future, and I wasn't able to come back, please swear to me that you would not allow any harm to come to her. By your order or by negligence, just... If something like that was to happen, then you would have my word. She would be safe. Thank you. What's the name of that fucking merchant guy? Something severe. Fault. 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 I'll leave you two to it. Did you tell him about, um, Fogel's something something? Yes. Alright, good. Sure, you can fill you in. Kyle is listening for the door to close.
Time to do the thing I wanted to do when I first came into the house. <laughs> I'll be back in like two minutes, chat. I was, I'm just talking to someone in my head right now. Apparently, um, is there anyone? Are there any players and other players in this house right now? Speak oh, up. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, here, hold on. <clears throat> Did I miss something? Say something. Uh, just check in, making sure he told you what he needed to tell you. And you wanted me to. Upstairs. Yeah. Um, he wanted me to find you after I handled that abysmal thing that fucking Vezrin did. Say again. Uh, you said you wanted me to come find you as well after I handled that thing with Vesser. So. I'll see you around, sir. I don't even remember what it fucking was. Ah, no worries then. Second thoughts. No, not in the slightest. Understood. But you seem troubled. There's a few things on my plate. <clears throat> One of them is a wagon I was waiting for has not come, so I was at the Merchant's Guild. Right. I was supposed to bring payment there, but they never did. So that's a pain in my ass. Secondly, I'm going to have to send a missive out soon, and I'm probably going to have to go there myself. Mm-hmm.
I'll have to come up with... <clears throat> contingency in case it goes wrong. Okay. We're in deep. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. For now. Um, well, we had some big orders at the forge, so if you need extra cash... In fact, Venora just dropped in 31 silver, so... We got quite a bit. Do we even have any iron? We have 30 ingots right now. We're pushing it. That's <clears throat> not a lot. No. As I've said to everyone, we've been pushing We're not going to get any shipments in the foreseeable future. Yeah. Let me having to buy from Vezrin. See if you can find those mercenaries that were looking for us before. The ones in purple. Ping. The DM that you should. If you can find them, tell them I'll have a job for them. <clears throat> Day after tomorrow. Okay. Where should I look? Last I saw they weren't in town. I could go out on the road, I guess. Or the cross keys. What do you think? That's why I said... Hmm. Let them know you're looking for them. <clears throat> More than likely, they'll be hanging out in a public place, I would assume. Any god in specific? You remember what their leader looks like, right? Uh, you might have to remind me. The gentleman that you stabbed in the neck? Oh, uh, I'll hear him, yeah. Know what he sounds like. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen out for him and look for him around town. Okay, and we have... Tell him I want him and four of his men. For tomorrow? Actually, I'll just take four of his men. He doesn't have to come. Okay. Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Pay them three silver each. Okay. As you watch your father go back inside and close the door, linger outside for a time, considering. He looks more tired than ever, more haggard, more worn. His eyes and around gotcha. him Understood. are Lupus, sunken. what's up? But Hello. The eyes um, themselves, hi. You, you notice. Uh, Kyla is looking around for these purple mercenaries that um, Arn came in contact the eyes with still a few sessions back. With the same fire it's gonna be looking around town, that apparently. you've seen before. And perhaps stronger. Looking the around town for more focused. purple mercenaries? The purple mercenaries, the leader was the guy that you Kyla know. stabbed in the throat. But that he is the one's hired by Crenshaw. To this. More than ever before. Um, you recall standing. This is probably a brown question. Let me get yeah. it. He told he me to tell to the DMs. <laughs> yeah. He was not asking. Fuck. As your probably father. the other DMs. <laughs> he was giving you a other. command. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kimchi. Thanks. I mean, that includes <laughs> me. Thanks, Kimchi. Thanks we're for making me. We're both the newest ones. All the time. We're both the newest ones. We don't. Thanks, Kimchi. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> knights, it's bannermen, um, retainers. Probably the best person would be. Yeah. Um, a salute, fist to the chest. I don't have any notes at that on that at yes. this time, Lupus. Yeah. So uh, we'll and we'll so facilitate if we can. Okay. So uh, if you walk around. Sure. Yeah. I'll mm. Just hang out and play a character thing and. Yeah, if you walk around and stuff and you engage with people as you go, if you spot them, you spot them. Okay? Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. My poor brain. <clears throat> Lone was doing some really cool stuff as well. Try Frenchie. Fuck. Tyler, you pause one more moment before the door to consider that the person in your mind should probably check your own mind to see if someone else is talking in it before they decide to talk. <laughs> this is. I'm so sorry. I'm really so important. sorry. It's, 
you you understand, Kyler, that it's not your problem. It's the problem of the person talking in your head because they have access to everyone's head and should probably take a listen inside of there to determine whether or not someone else is talking so they don't accidentally talk over them. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Have, have, a, I, have a good session. Please, have a good, please, have a good please session. don't stop doing these for me. They're really cool. <laughs> Uh, Frenchie, do you have a second? <clears throat> That's fine. I'll trust the other DMs for it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I feel so bad for Lauren. <laughs> yeah, I heard some parts of it. I was trying to track both of them. How are you doing? Guardsman, doing quite all right, thank you. It's all on me. I got Marco Morbo to pay me to do nothing. Anyway, I'm going. I bid you all the best. Live long and prosper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get something, get something fancy for yourselves, I mean. I'll just have a yeah. 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 I've got just the thing for them. Uh, two ales and a uh, special. Yeah. I think you need to do uh, a search of his foot locker. You <laughs> might need a mental evaluation. Right. One moment, gentlemen. No, it's good. There you go. There's your evaluation. Just, uh, yes, sir. whatever soup's on today, please. Certainly. Would be, uh, 20 copper, if you please. Thank you. Uh, feel free to take a seat. Should have a moment early. Thank you very much. Oh, good. How much do I owe you? Oh, no. 
Well, it doesn't mean it's such a weird hymn. Now the gods are scared of you, Sony. Because they know what <laughs> song they use for. Oh no, don't worry about it. This won't this won't be used for that purpose. Oh, well, you say that. <laughs> and look, if we're gonna go through that again, leave it up to me this time. <laughs> we'll have you do it. Are you gonna use your clap the next time? No, if anything, that could possibly make it worse. Quickly, Soma, clamp his nuts! I needed the change of his mind, I guess. Give him the Imperial nuts! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! No, that's not me that said it, that was Ludwig! I, I, I only said it that one time. <laughs> you're the one that you're the one who keeps bringing it back. Scientist, I'm gonna try to wiggle. Because <laughs> I at least want to make a laugh here and there, one another. Alright. <laughs> 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 They're giving him a replacement of an Imperium package. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, of Imperial, uh, Soma, have you seen Ziegler around? Ziegler? <laughs> um, rarely. I mean, I've seen him walk around town here and there, but not really gotten a chance to interact <coughs> with him as most often. Only interacted with As you look around, thank you. Hearing a mercenary, guardsman, anyone bearing any type of heavy armor at all. Nothing seems to catch your eye. And you've actually not seen anyone bearing those colors all day so far, let alone <clears throat> since you've been really keeping an eye out. Seen the Empire, a few people faces you recognize, but none of them seem to stick out. Not the ones you want. Interesting. Ow. Bam, hot soup. Have you uh checked in with Frenchie maybe? Frenchie was the playing the leader of them. He was <clears throat> But when I tried to I check in, I just checked really with busy. the man himself. Okay, thank you. Just making sure. Yep. If you are looking around Nautis for them. Nothing. Nothing. Understood. I'm gonna head inside and cool off. You take care, Summer. Well, you should give it a try. See you as well, Sergeant. Oh, okay, I'll give it a try one day. Especially from the training that Pelican's been giving me. Personal training. 
walking around, <laughs> making, my, making myself some bandages, oh, made myself bandages. eight more Same along with another <laughs> mess. I'm gonna try and plan myself to making some more of that tomorrow. Very nice, very nice. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. If you ever need additional, want additional source and tip training, I did go through the uh, Imperial training course, so I could theoretically help. Help. I won't be. I'm not a master yeah, or anything, but I can still work those things. I know. Timed it. Um, tell, give him the inkling, you may have already DM'd him that they're not in town, but mm -hmm. give him the inkling to go to the mercenaries guild and okay. to ask, you know, you know, like, ask tell, around there, around there. Yeah. And basically if you can right. be behind the counter and be like, oh yeah, they like, they have a contact here. They come occasionally come in for work. What do you like? Do you want me to get, get a message to them? Are you looking to hire them? Like. Oh, they're not here. Okay. Uh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, this hey, is go the to them. Go to the I have this, I have this weird inkling. Um, I I've come mm. in here to let you know that Kyler is leaving the town <laughs> and going to the. You know, for some reason, Kyler. <laughs> well, you, you know, know maybe so you should go check out the Mercenary reason, Guild. Yeah. You, you, you never that. Do that. No, no, I don't you think I will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be unfortunate, right, Kyler, right, if you. Right, I'm on my way there. You, how long have you been here? <laughs> uh, like five seconds. I, I kept, I, yourself. I kept wanting to jump in, but you guys were talking. <laughs> I'm heading to the okay. guild. I have this weird so, sense. So, in other words, mm. tell Loop. When, so, when, 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 when <clears throat> Kyler gets into the mercenaries guild, just jump him and kill him. Just fuck, kill the fuck out of him. Don't yeah, worry, I got just, I got just DMs, the guy. just letting you know, I'm leaving the town. I uh, just had this weird feeling that I don't feel safe for some reason. <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right, I have I have to go run modules. You I'm going into the deal. Right. Yep, I'm going to the guild. Yeah, I'm going up. I got it. <laughs> as to what we can do with her. Possibly give her some new identity and take her out of the town. Probably tomorrow. Seems most of the lads snagged them up earlier today. Alright. Well, hopefully some of them come through soon. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure it'll be any <coughs> time now. Hello. Something I can do for you. Yeah, I just have this Contract. weird feel. I'm actually bounty. looking to get in contact with a group of mercenaries, if possible. No, oh, group of mercenaries, are you? Mm. All right. Uh, which ones are you looking to get in contact with? <sighs> we get a bunch of reps here. They weigh. Uh, they 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 wear purple. Um, their leader has a sort of gravelly throat. Sounds like he like pulled a vocal cord or something. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I know which ones you're talking about, right? Yeah. Um, I remember that bastard. Fucking drink us dry one night, fucker. Is it, right? is it possible um, oh. we could get a message to them to know that um, we're looking to hire them? Absolutely. I can get a message to them, no problem. Fantastic. Just give it to the rep when they show up. Great. Um, 
Day after tomorrow, we need about four of their men. We're willing to pay them three silver each. <clears throat> uh, three silver each. All right. What should be killing or escorting in this case? Uh, just an escort. The uh, blacksmith. Scored in the blacksmith. Silver each. I'm looking around for them, right? Yep. All right. I think that's about it. In the name for the contractee, just for us. Uh, Tazim. Hmm. All right. Should be the day Tazim. after tomorrow. But if they have any questions, they should just come and talk to All us. Right. All right. Can I just get your signature <clears throat> here? All right. Perfect. All right. So that's for our records and theirs. I think I have everything I need. Uh, if there's anything that comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Your name? I'm Sharik. I work at the blacksmith with... Again? Sharik. So just leave a message there if oh, you need to. Oh, right, right. I think... <clears throat> Perfect. All right. I'll leave it right there with you then. Fantastic. As soon as I come by, I pass it to. Yep. I'm I'm going to be leaving the town for a bit, so if you can't find me, oh. I'll be back probably tonight. Just so where, you're aware. Where you off? Where you <coughs> off heading? Where where off? Where you off? You heading? Uh, there's a friend Might who ask? lives out. Uh, Sif probably seen her around. Gonna help her out a little bit. At the uh, woodcutters, right. you know. Anyway. Toodles. Ugh. In your walk, you feel the gaze sharply piercing at your back. You hear the, hear the sound of clepping horseshoes stop. They feel the daggers pointing in the back of your neck. Your almost instincts scream at you to look back. You look at him, he looks back. A small exchange, not able to tell his face. You see him rear his horse and begin to move away. Odd. Very odd. Piece of cloth from the battlefields. 
I was only a couple hundred years old at the most. A hunter lied to you, like he does everyone. Aye, what do with that much. rider? Can you see that? Oh, no. right up right up there. Right up there. That's where he's waiting for you. No, there was a rider that rode past. Did you guys see that? I didn't didn't see a rider. We no. did not. We literally just came from the logging camp. That's worrying. They fucking were eye-fucking me the entire time they walked past me, or rode past me. Mm. <clears throat> you good? Sorry. We encountered some orbs in the excursion I was going to go on. It turns out the hunter, the same one that is what cannot be trusted, lied to me. I'd have thought. Yeah. Apparently the battlefield <clears throat> is not as old as I thought it was. And it is not two battlefields, but one. Well, it expands the whole way. Have you seen him around recently, either? No, I think he's fled, <gasps> from what I understand. Hmm. Raven, I think they're talking about the male hunter. I see. It, he was the one that had told me that this battlefield was different. It was one on this one on that way. The one we encountered up there was more of a marshland than anything else. If you need to know That's something the about the wood, thing. Morden, just ask me. I got a medium to get to. Good luck, you guys. It's more... Uh, I... <sighs> Stay safe. No worries. For you, Lars, I would suggest your kin. I don't know anywhere near it. It was Marcelo and uh, Lysander. Flex on the ranges by sneaking. I thought about that. Maybe I should. 